I'm at a park not too far from our house called Murphy Hanrahan. It's a beautiful sunny day. Well, yesterday I got a pair of snowshoes and I was so excited to use them that despite the fact that we only have six inches or so of snow out here, I had to come out and try them. And I'm running around and walking around and, and having a blast trying out these snowshoes in this beautiful park. But this week in my quiet time, a verse of the day really struck me. I want to read it to us and then respond and think about it with you briefly. It's Psalm 19, verse 14. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. It's interesting, and I'm not sure we think about this carefully, but what we take in, what we meditate on, really impacts the words we speak, our attitude, uh, everything about our day. A and I'm not sure we're always careful to think about that. What is it that you and I are meditating on? What is it that we're, we're taking in? Is it glorifying to God <laughs> or does it actually draw us away from God and cause us to stumble and fall? Because the things we meditate on will ultimately be the things we speak, we share, and we think about all the time. And the psalmist is reminding us, Lord, what I want more than anything else is that the things that I meditate upon in my heart and the words that come out of my mouth, that they would be pleasing to you, that they would glorify you. And so that's the challenge I lay before you and me this week. Let's meditate on the things that bring glory to God, that deepen the roots of our faith, and let's protect our eyes from the things that draw us away, that lead into temptation. Because what we take in ultimately impacts what comes into our hearts and out of our mouths. So this week, let's ruminate, ruminate, let's meditate on the things that glorify God. Time in His Word, time spent in prayer, time loving and serving in the name of Jesus. And let's protect our eyes and our hearts from those things that draw us away from glorifying God. God bless you. I so look forward to next week when we get to share some time together, together again. We'll see you soon.